The Kingdom of Bhutan is not only known for its GNH index, but it is also known for being one of the few carbon negative nations in the world. The conservation of our pristine environment and natural landscape is of vital importance. It is the source of our continuing existence and healthy well-being. All of these are interrelated by the functioning of biological corridors. Biological corridors were first established in 1999 and bestowed as a gift to the earth from the people of Bhutan. Presently, there are eight biological corridors with a total coverage of 2,966.54 square kilometers. The corridors are there for a purpose. It is a path for all wildlife to move and regroup. These corridors also serve as pathway for wildlife to move to safer places and to avoid life-threatening experiences in the face of climate change, natural disaster, and human-induced habitat loss. With the area of 594.65 square kilometers, the BC4 is the largest among the eight biological corridors in Bhutan. It connects three protected areas, which includes from Sengla National Park to the north, Jimmy Singewanchu National Park to its northwest, and the country's oldest national park, Royal Manas National Park to its south. The biological corridor 4 spans mostly across Langtul Geok of Trongsa, Trung, Nangkor, and Shinkar Geoks of Shemgang. These communities live in and around the corridor. The corridor is known for the presence of broad-leafed forest. Fir and rhododendrons can be seen in the higher mountains. As of 2021, the corridor had recorded a total of 485 floral species of immense commercial, medicinal and religious significance in the vicinity. Five are endemic to Bhutan along with four species of plants and three species of orchids were discovered as new to flora of Bhutan. The corridor has also one begonia species discovered as new to the science. The corridor facilitates the movement of many important species such as the Himalayan black bear, Asiatic golden cat, goar, sambar deer, royal Bengal tiger, marbled cat, clouded leopard, musk deer, and red panda. In the corridor, we can spot a popular and rare golden langur, a primate of extraordinary grace and beauty with this long, silky blonde fur. Dubia Kamalu, Kildin Balong, Gay Yosale, Shangalu Yubigi, Kildin Balong, Ang Jibadi, Bumshuchi, Kildin Balam Digi, Saka Masalu Yubigi, Sujubi Sabuda, Sat Tosalu Yubigi, Sujub Sabanigi Balalu, Zora, Jenzeta, Jundurgi Dene, Valentabi. The findings from the recent National Tiger Survey has also indicated a strong usage of the corridors with many incidences of tiger encounters. The corridor has recorded 305 species of birds, which includes 9 conservation significant and 65 migratory birds. The corridor paves way for birds like the steppe eagle, mountain hawk eagle, yellow rumped honey guide, great hornbill and the rufous necked hornbill, which are some of the corridor's prized aviary attractions. The corridor is also home to one of the rarest and critically endangered bird, the white-bellied heron, with its active nesting grounds located within the corridor. In the Buli village of Shemgang, a glistening lake is a site of wonders. All the community households visit the sacred lake to recite prayers and perform rituals to accumulate merit, cure illness, and ward off unfortunate luck. Therefore, the lake is of strong spiritual, religious, and environmental significance for the village. Butterflies are certainly one of the most appealing creatures in nature. The butterfly has become a metaphor for transformation and hope. While it is believed to be a symbol for rebirth and resurrection, it is also one of the important indicators for environmental health. The corridor is a safe haven for over 150 species of butterflies that are freely roaming about. The corridor with this potential of harboring many undiscovered floral species and lesser known mammal and bird species during seasonal changes will tend to create a much more secure and diverse wildlife scenario. <laughs> Kildin Balang, Ang Jibati, Kildin Rignagi, Chubigi Sabuchi, 
Tiga macam apa? Sabu dina lu, ego lese cahdi lebi. Di leh tiba lagi, di dasim cinta mungkin bana lu delzi niya cap cinta gula cundi lebi. The people residing in and around the corridor are dependent on agriculture and forestry resources from the corridor. The communities around the corridor cultivate wetland rice as one of the most abundantly grown cereal crops. There are almost 19 valuable forest resources such as ferns, mushrooms, fodders that can meet basic needs in terms of food security and commercial value in markets. Over the years, top predators and herbivores, which are considered a nuisance to the rural farmers, are distributed all across the corridor. On the other hand, wildlife can also come in conflict due to poaching, illegal timber felling, infrastructural development, forest fire, and many more. It is the common fact to know that human-wildlife conflict is inevitable. In order to tackle these issues, several management and mitigation strategies have been implemented. Such measures include the installation of solar or electric fences in order to reduce agricultural crop damage by the herbivores, awareness and education at local community level for indulging them in conservation efforts and protection of important species, smart patrolling and enforcement activities to prevent illegal extraction of timber, non-wood forest products and wildlife poaching. Without these timely interventions taking place, our prestigious national parks will be in disarray and biological corridors will cease to function in its objective to help wildlife navigate and move around freely. From gardens, hot springs and homestays, the locals have utilized these opportunities for many regional and international visitors to feel at home away from home. The biological corridors in their finest and pristine condition reminds us that we are all dependent on the nature for our survival as much as wildlife and plants need the parks and corridors to live as well. It is our moral duty and responsibility to safeguard and conserve our environment in order to coexist with wildlife for all times to come.